YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, today we're going to be breaking down gameplay from one of the best snipers on Rebirth Island. Somebody that you've been asking me to take a look at for a while now, I'll admit it, which is Capture. We're breaking down a 45 kill solo quads win that he had, talking about how he strategically uses a sniper to his advantage. I feel like a lot of you want to play this aggro style of sniping where you're running around, you're quick scoping people. I get it. It's a lot of fun. But it's very high risk, high reward. And it's very difficult to do given the recent increase in sniper flinch. What we're going to see throughout this gameplay is that Capture almost uses his sniper as his secondary. His main weapon is going to be his well gun. That's what he gets a large majority of his kills with and what he's really running around with. And we're going to take a look at the situations where he uses his sniper to his advantage as well as pay attention to how much he uses his SMG, his well gun. So we pick this up here. He's got 12 kills. He's got nine other teams still up and we're picking this up right in the action. He's going to pick up the well gun. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. He gets the information. And he's going to go ahead and push up here. We're also going to be talking about situations. There's kind of three main situations that I want to talk about in terms of using the sniper. So he's going to get that down and thirst right there. He's going to pick up one more and then he's going to rotate. Now, situation number one is going to be the kickoff of fight, right? You're in a situation where you're rotating. You need to get into a building. You're going to use that sniper to get that down, which is going to buy you time to push into that building buy you a little bit of time to rotate so that's kind of situation number one now situation number two is the obvious one which is to get it down in a thirst that's kind of the main use of your sniper especially at those longer ranges so right here he's trying to kick off this fight he's trying to get it down get a thirst at which point he can push in the moment he can, he's going to switch to his well gun and get in on the action here. He's going to get, he's going to break the first one. That person's going to get back in the heli. There's one flying in on Lodi. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. And now he's going to go ahead and reload. And there's going to be one more guy that's going to challenge him. And he's going to be able to use the heady right here. So right here, he's low health. Now he's going to go ahead. He's going to stim. He's going to rotate up. And now he's going to pull out the sniper. So he catches this guy right here, right on the corner of this building. And he's going to use his sniper basically to buy him a little bit of time. He doesn't get the thirst right there. Now he tries to get it with the precision airstrike, but he's not able to fully get it just yet. Now he gets it. Now the guy gave up. So he's using that to really buy himself time to rotate there and try to get it out of that situation that he's in. Now, the third situation that we're talking about here is going to be getting kills out of the sky. Free, easy kills. You get the down. They fall to their death. You're able to get that free and easy kill, which he's going to do throughout this gameplay. So we're going to be paying attention to those three situations. How he uses it to kind of kick off a fight and rotate. How he uses it to get a down and a thirst. Boom, he gets the knock right there as his long-range option and how he gets people out of the sky. Now, as he's kind of rotating, he's going to end up looting a little bit. If you are looking to get better at Reaper, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I took my KD from a .72 over a 4 KD. I know what it takes to actually get better. And I do videos every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. I do a lot of live coaching. There's a free kill out of the sky right there. Do a lot of live coaching. So if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If you want to know when I'm posting, when I'm going live, make sure you turn on that notification bell. But he's going to go ahead and push in here. Notice he has the well gun out as he's challenging close range. He gets the hip fire. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. He's got 22 kills. He's got eight other teams, and he is still in this. This is a very healthy lobby. He's going to end up, like I said, picking up 45. So he's going to go ahead and push in here. He gets the break there. By the way, if you don't know about this jump spot, make sure you know about it. He jumps to the roof, at which point he's able to jump across. And we're going to see him really start to use this sniper in action. One more tip that I have for you. Take the shot. A lot of you want to make sure everything is perfect and lined up perfect. You're going to see him just take the shot throughout this gameplay. And he misses a lot. He's one of the best rebirth snipers. He misses a lot, and that's okay. But because he's taking shots, it allows him to get a lot of downs. Uses the well gun there. Now, this is right outside of well gun range, right? This is a little bit further than well gun range. That well gun is really kind of the medium and close range option. So he's going to pull out the sniper. He's going to hit the first one. He's going to hit the second one. Now he thirsts with the well gun. He can thirst that with the well gun for sure. But he's not really in his spot to get the down right there. Now he looks over this way. He misses the first one. So he takes the shot again. Then he gets the down. Then he gets the thirst. So just keep taking those shots. And what you're going to see here in a second is that... He's going to take more shots to somebody at Nova 6, and he's going to miss, and that's okay. Now he knows that person's over there, though. Take the shot, he misses. Take the shot, he misses. Now he gets he gets sniped. Doesn't go down. He gets broken, but he's going to go ahead and play it up and keep pushing here. And we're going to get into the thick of this action right here after he pops a UAV. You're really going to see how many people are around him and why you can't really play as an aggro sniper. It's high risk, high reward right now, especially given the recent increase in sniper flinch 
So we really need to be using our kind of, uh, oh, this should be, your well gun or whatever your quote unquote sniper support is, should be your main weapon. Should be what you're running around with the majority of the time. He's going to keep pushing here. He's only down about half a plate, so he's going to challenge this guy up top. He's able to get the down. He's able to get the thirst. Now he pushes over, and I want to talk about this play. As I mentioned, he's down half a plate, right? Probably 40 health. He's going to go ahead and reload, play this heady right here. He's able to get two downs. You don't always have to be full plated, especially as you are continuing to get better. Now, this is another situation I want to talk about. He stims in. He's going to go ahead and shut this door behind him. He's going to plate, and he's already starting to push back in the grandmas, especially because he has a UAV. By the way, look at this UAV right now. He's got multiple people in headquarters. He's got people in tower. He's got people in grandmas. So he's got to be strategic here. And he is kind of getting... He's in a situation of being third party. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. Two people below. Jump out the window. He's able to get the first knock right there. He's able to get the re-knock right there. And he's going to keep pushing. He gets that multiple pings down here that he's going to use to his advantage. Now, I don't even see this guy, but notice the long range option, right? That allows him to kind of get that down. He's not even able to get the thirst just yet. Or maybe there's an enemy over there that allows him to get that thirst. But he's able to get that person down. You never know what can happen. Who's going to go in and push over this way? He gets the down on the guy in bottom prison. He knows there's one more rotating in from the information on his level, and he's going to go in and challenge here. And he's got 32, by the way. He's picked up 20 kills since we started, just being strategic about how he's using his sniper and his, how he's using his secondary. Now, be really careful about the situation. Six bullets left, gas mask animation. Like, he's in a really tough spot right here. A lot of times, I want to let my gas mask go on and then go ahead and challenge that person so I don't get caught. Plus, he probably should have reloaded, or else he would have been in a really bad spot there. Now he's going to start to use his sniper a little bit more, right? Everything there was close quarters, was super on top of one another, where he's using his well gun. Now he's going to start to use it a little bit more. He's going to try to hit that guy. He doesn't hit it. He's going to try to hit that guy. He doesn't hit it. That's okay. He's going to keep taking shots here. One out of the sky. Free kill. And look, those people that are just floating, take them. I, those people want to float as a sniper you take those kills every time watch this play by the way this is 500 iq this is something that we can really learn about this is why i break down these high kill solo quads games because these players are making these types of plays so he, he's gonna float right watch this watch when he lets go of the parachute he lets go of the parachute right here he lets his momentum take him to the roof knowing that he's not gonna die to fall damage and look at the centering that's such a 500 IQ play right there. Knowing that he's not going to die to fall damage. He gets the first one down. Now he's going to go ahead and challenge the second one. Although he gets caught in a really weird spot here. He's going to see what he can find. He's still trying to clear this. He's got one on his level. He's got one below. He's going to get the thirst on this guy. And this guy just auto mantles. Like it's super, super unfortunate for that one. Now he plates up. He's got to slow down for a second. He's going to plate up here. He's got 35 with six other teams. And he actually gets sniped. Now he's okay. He's going to end up selfing. I'm going to fast forward right there through that. He's going to jump down. Now he's going to replate. And uh, as I mentioned, notice how often he's using a sniper. Long range options to open up a fight. To get free and easy kills out of the sky. He's going to get UAV up. And that's what we're real. I know we all watch these snipers who are just, you know, the knights, the night lens, who are running around quick scoping. And Capture does it as well. Capture definitely does it. But I chose this game because this game's a little bit more realistic in terms of how you're supposed to use the sniper, how you should be using it. He's going to go ahead and challenge this guy down below on buy station. Watch this guy. This guy just disappears on him. Now one drops down. He's able to get the down right there. And I don't know where this other guy went. He ends up being behind him. So he's going to go ahead and use the gas mask to his advantage. Commit to the gas. He gets the down and the thirst. Well, let's watch him clutch this game right here. 39 kills. One out. He loses his gas mask here. So he's going to go in and chase. I don't want to talk about this. He's not scared of gas there, but this guy is. This guy that's running away is so worried about getting into zone, which I think a lot of you do. He's so worried about getting into zone that this becomes a very easy kill for capture. 40 kills. He's got three other teams. Now, I want to talk about this next situation right here. Boom, right here. Now, this is a situation where a lot of you would be using an AR. Could you use a sniper? Yes. Very tough shot to hit. And this is why having a good, quote-unquote, sniper support, which in my opinion should be your main option, 
needs to be medium and close range because he's able to hit shots with the well gun because it has a little bit more range to it things like the ots9 the cold war mp5 aren't great sniper sports compared to the mp40 the well gun the cold war ak the vargo 52 because the ots9 and the cold war mp5 lack the range needed to be able to cover yourself in that mid range he's able to get another down right there and let's this is another one real quick quick sniper tip for you boom he misses the shot so he's immediately going to switch to his well gun, see what he can do. Can't do anything there, but that's called the break and swap, right? He's ideally hoping to break that guy and then immediately swap to his secondary, be able to get that down when the guy's only a bullet or two. He's going to keep climbing, clearing everywhere. He sees this guy right here. Notice that mid-range again. Uses a little bit of movement, which is absolutely disgusting. It's what capture, one of the things Capture is known for. Then he's just going to go ahead and break that guy. Uh, hello, you're lost, sir. You're looking the wrong, wrong way. There's 45 kill solo quad win right there. Take a look at how he strategically uses the sniper to his advantage. Hope you found today's video helpful. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.